here, I'm a doctor in natural medicine and a researcher in the field of kidney health. I've been helping people with CKD improve their GFR and kidney function for more than a decade now. And when people ask me, what are some foods I could add to my diet for a fast boost in kidney function? My answer is always, focus on nutrients with natural diuretic properties. Yes, the diet is the cornerstone of the treatment for CKD. And when it comes to directly improving the filtration ability of the kidney quickly and naturally, there is nothing better than plant-based foods with detoxing properties. And these foods, the foods we are going to see today, are not only good in the short term, they will help you also protecting your kidneys in the long haul. And the reason why these foods are so good for you is simple. You see, when the kidneys are damaged, getting rid of excess fluids may become an issue. And this may cause many problems. Edema, the swelling of ankle and feet, and also sodium retention, a cause of hypertension, and maybe even worse, an increase in blood sugar levels. In fact, if your kidneys are having problems getting rid of excess fluid, they may struggle to get rid of excess sugar as well. And it's clear that all these issues may cause a faster decline in kidney function and kidney damage. So, if your goal is a better kidney function, you cannot miss the foods and tips I will share with you today. There are 5 ways to directly get rid of excess fluids that are 100% natural and safe in all the stages. Don't miss our number one in particular because that's a nutrient that was used to bring creatinine levels back to normal in several patients, which means complete remission from CKD. Before that, time to see some foods that are 100% backed by science in their ability of helping us getting rid of excess fluids fast. Let's start with a very underrated superfood that not many people know about and that some consider just a pesky weed, dandelion greens. These greens are not just perfectly edible and great in a salad, they also come with some incredible benefits. They can help in a safe and gentle way stimulating the body getting rid of excess fluid. Yes, the dandelions that often grow as wildflowers in meadows and fields come with many little known benefits. Consuming dandelion greens regularly is, in fact, linked to lower blood pressure, decreased inflammation, and even improved blood sugar control. Amazing! And of course, dandelion greens are a natural diuretic that gently help with urine production. Another food you may want to consider, asparagus. This superfood is one of the best friends of your kidneys. And there is solid research to confirm that eating asparagus can help with fluid retention and help rid the body of excess salt and fluid. The secret of asparagus is asparagine, an amino acid with diuretic properties that can actually treat swelling. This makes it especially good for those suffering from edema and hypertension. What not many people know about this delicious veggie is that cooking it in water may destroy some of its precious nutrients. Instead, try raw asparagus grated in a salad. Another superfood you may want to consider, celery. Celery has always been a favorite of mine due to its many properties. Celery is very low calorie, but it's also super rich in nutrients with exceptional properties. Some of the antioxidants and natural compounds in celery are so powerful they may have a significantly positive impact on your well-being. Celery may in fact act as a natural vasodilator and fight hypertension. And that's an amazing way to protect the kidneys. And celery has long been used as a natural way to get rid of toxins. Today we know that this property is thanks to a phytochemical known as phthalides. Incredible! And I also have a superfood that's even more effective in getting rid of excess fluids naturally than what we have seen till now. This is actually one of the most powerful medical foods in existence, ginger. I really believe that anyone should make it regular on their table, but especially people suffering from CKD. Why, you may ask? First of all, ginger can effectively relieve the nausea that's often associated with advanced kidney disease. It fights high sugar levels by improving insulin resistance. Ginger is also a heavy metal chelator and a powerful detoxifier. And most of all, ginger is a powerful anti-inflammatory. 
it's also powerful at fighting inflammation in the body that it was even tested to see if it can lower creatinine levels. And of course, ginger also helps with fluid retention. But the way ginger works to stimulate diuresis is very different from the other foods we have just seen. Fresh ginger contains gingerol, a bioactive compound with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which can improve overall kidney function and help in the excretion of excess fluids. You can add up to 4 grams per day of fresh ginger during the main meals to get these amazing benefits. But keep in mind that too much ginger can cause heartburn or right? so if that happens, decrease the dose. Now guys, you may have noticed that some of these foods also contain potassium. Question: Should you be worried about that? Well, probably not so much. I've explained why potassium in vegetables is not something you should be concerned with in my video up here and also down in the description. Watch it now for more! Okay guys, the next thing I want to show you are some vitamins and minerals that are extremely effective for fluid retention. But now you may ask, I'm already taking the diuretic my nephrologist gave me. Do I really need food supplements and other natural ways to help with swelling? Well, of course, the medicines your nephrologist gave you work. No doubt about it. It's not their efficacy that worries me. As a naturopath, the reason why medicines for blood pressure and fluid retention worry me is the side effects. What your doctor would prescribe for fluid retention is usually a loop diuretic. Most common are Lasix or furosemide and also Bomex or Bumetanide, Edacrine and more. And some common issues people taking these are going to face are due to depletion of essential nutrients. Most diuretics your nephrologist may give you will deplete your body of essential nutrients and minerals such as zinc, vitamin C, and B1, which is very bad. Remember that even a single nutrient deficiency may be a serious problem. Not to mention that if you take both a diuretic and an ACE inhibitor or ARB, a very common combination, by the way, you may face another risk. In fact, if at this combination you also add an NSAID, you may end up hospitalized with acute kidney injury. This is called a triple whammy. And guys, some prescription and OTC medications may also directly cause edema or the retention of fluids in the body. NSAIDs, for example, are linked to increased sodium and water retention, but you are probably not taking them to begin with, I hope. But there are also certain medications used to control blood pressure that can cause fluid retention. Calcium channel blockers, for example, such as amlodipine, can cause swelling in the legs and ankles. And beta blockers as well, like metoprolol, for example, can cause this issue. So it's clear that many medications have side effects that can damage the kidneys. So yes, the biggest issue I have with prescription diuretics and other medications is exactly this increased risk for acute kidney injury or fast kidney damage. And of course, this kidney damage is dose dependent, all right? So the higher the dose, the bigger the risk. On the other hand, as I was saying, there are supplements and vitamins we can use to improve the body's ability of removing water naturally and without side effects. One of the most powerful is the number one for today, a mineral that you absolutely want to supplement as it also comes with properties that will help you in many ways. But you can also employ some easy lifestyle changes in order to make sure you are only going to need the smallest possible dose for these prescription diuretics. There are a few good habits that will help you support your natural body elimination of excess fluids. Here they are. First of all, a very effective tip. Cut back on refined carbs. Eating too many refined carbohydrates means the body will store them as glycogen, which attracts water. Decreasing your intake of refined carb will in fact cause a sudden decrease in body weight, also known as water weight. And this is just one of the several reasons why eating less refined carbs will help with lowering creatinine levels. Now even better, also move more. It sounds simple and it is. Regular exercise but also walking help get the muscles in your body pumping, aiding circulation and helping to move fluid around and out of the body. Regular exercise is also a way of catching two birds with one stone because it helps maintain the correct body weight. Remember that 60% of your body is water. So losing weight is one way to reduce fluid retention. Not to mention that exercising lowers hypertension, controls sugar levels and cholesterol levels. 
Don't know how to start? Even walking at a brisk pace for 20 to 30 minutes a day may really help. And also drink more water. Remember that water gets rid of water. If you do not have a water allowance, 8 to 12 glasses a day are recommended because dehydration can make the body hold on to extra fluids. Also consider drinking teas and herb infusions regularly. Now maybe the most important thing, eat less salt. Excess salt intake is a common problem that can cause you to retain as much as 1.5 liters of extra fluid, not to mention the effects on systolic blood pressure. Now guys, when it comes to salt intake, it has come to my attention that some influencers are now selling this or that brand of table salt. Guys, keep in mind that no matter how you call it, sea salt, pink salt, Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, real salt, or whatever, it's still table salt, all right? It's still too much sodium and it will still skyrocket your blood pressure and cause fluid retention. And no, the trace minerals that these table salts contain are never going to be enough to have any real health benefit. Do not trust an influencer that's trying to sell you table salt. Now guys, something that can actually contain nutrients you can benefit from and that will help you greatly with fluid retention is there are certain vitamins that may cause fluid retention if their levels in the body are too low. It's important to know what they are because you absolutely want to make sure you are not taking a medication when you may be solving the problem by taking a vitamin. First one is vitamin B1 or thiamine. Vitamin B1 deficiency that, as I was saying, may be caused by prescription diuretics is linked to fluid retention. I mean, these diuretics may be indirectly causing fluid retention. Isn't that peculiar? This is a serious issue that's often overlooked, so make sure you are not deficient in these vitamins, especially if you are having other symptoms such as loss of appetite, fatigue, irritability, or tingling in your arms and legs. These could be all symptoms of vitamin B1 deficiency. And also, always keep an eye on your vitamin D level. Besides causing proteinuria, bone damage, and kidney damage, vitamin D deficiency is also linked to fluid retention. Deficiency in vitamin D can, in fact, contribute to fluid retention by affecting kidney function and the balance of calcium and phosphorus in the body. Keep in mind that this is the most common deficiency in people with kidney disease, alright? Now, another common deficiency that's linked to fluid retention is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to anemia and anemia is also a cause of fluid retention. Now, vitamin C is another vitamin you don't want to be deficient in. This is a vitamin with powerful detoxing properties and it will directly help getting rid of excess fluids, all right? This is a vitamin with powerful detoxing properties and it will directly help getting rid of excess fluids, all right? And of course, there are essential minerals that can also cause fluid retention if they are too low. One is very unexpected, potassium. Guys, in people with kidney disease, potassium deficiency or hypokalemia is slightly less common than hyperkalemia or too high potassium levels, but it's just as dangerous. A deficiency in potassium can lead to fluid retention. Potassium, in fact, helps balance sodium levels and support proper kidney function. Actually, potassium deficiency is also a cause of high blood pressure and it may be caused by taking loop diuretics. So be very careful with this level as well. Make sure you are monitoring your serum potassium regularly. Now, there is one nutrient that's even more important when it comes to fluid retention. This one is often very low in people with CKD and without it, the ability of the body of processing fluids may be compromised. If you don't get enough of this nutrient from foods or from supplements, swelling may be a direct consequence. But you may also have trouble sleeping and in extreme cases even become depressed. I'm talking about vitamin B6. B6 is key for hemoglobin formation, metabolism, brain function, and it also regulates fluid balance in the body. Studies found evidence that increasing B6 intake may directly help reduce water retention. Studies also link low levels of this nutrient to inflammation. One more reason to make sure you are getting enough B6. Remember that B6, like the other B vitamins, is water soluble. The body won't store it. This is why supplementing all the vitamins of the B group is recommended for people suffering from CAD. B6 paired with B9 and B12 is key for those with anemia, by the way. It works together with vitamin B12 and folic acid to create hemoglobin. And guys, there is only one micronutrient that's even more important than B6 when it comes to managing swelling. 
fluid retention and hypertension. This is a mineral that's key to preserve GFR and lower your creatinine levels. And in a study, this nutrient was even used to send CKD into remission. Unfortunately, in people with CKD, very often this mineral is too low and that may cause hypertension, thyroid problems, phosphorus imbalance, inflammation, swelling, and even a faster progression to kidney failure. To avoid this and to fight fluid retention, consider supplementing magnesium. This mineral is involved in more than 300 enzymatic reactions that keep your body and renal system functioning properly. Recently, magnesium made the headlines because low levels of this mineral were linked to a faster decline in kidney function and earlier death. Research also linked increasing your magnesium intake to reduce water retention, especially if you supplement magnesium and vitamin B6 together. And guys, if you want to know exactly how to supplement this key mineral for better kidney function, this video up here and also down in the description is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye!